Hey, friends. Hey, friends. Hey, friends. Hey, friends. Hey, friends. How's it going? Oh, my goodness. Pro Sam in the house, Steven. R2. Kim, how's it going, buddy? Happy holidays, everybody. Hope everyone had an amazing holiday, regardless of whatever holiday you are celebrating, wherever you live, anywhere in this beautiful, beautiful world. I'm um, having a great holiday. We do have off today, which is good. And some uh, PTO that I had to burn through, so... We're here, we're enjoying um, kind of the cold Seattle. It's in the 30s, 40s, so not too much. Hey, and how's it going? We brewed some beautiful coffee. In fact, the coffee we're drinking today, I just did, where's my coffee button at, boop. Uh, I just home roasted a few days ago. Some new Sweet Marie. I'm really enjoying our new extension there. Boom, boom, let's pour the coffee. Mm. It made Heather a little extra cup, which is good. Oh, a little drip, a little drip, drip. Jiggle Wayne, great to see you too. Welcome. Hope you're having a great holiday. Um, maybe you had to work today. Maybe you didn't. You know, um, I know a lot of my family had to work all week besides uh, Christmas Day. So uh, I'm, back, I'm off a few days next week. Back to the back to the work on the second, which will be good. A D L Y D Y L deal good to see you 
Oh, I hope we're wearing the same sweater. Just clip that and then put us together. I'll, I'll even... There you go. We can tweet that out. Hope you're making some sweet, sweet stuff, Steven. I can't wait to make and print tons of stickers. Just let Microsoft pay for those. I want to thank some people that followed me while they were away um, the last week. Uh, Staffier, Zeb, Epire, Kot, Coder. Co oh, Coder. <laughs> oh, one. Sumed, uh, BK Watt, Paul Blart, and Kafil. Thank you so much for the follows while I was gone. I appreciate that. Of course, you can hit that follow button. That's free. You can just do that. And then you get notifications whenever I'm around. Yeah, I've been roasting a lot of home coffee. I gave away some uh, roasted coffees uh, to the families for Christmas. I believe they appreciated that with their wines. So that was good. Um, it's really good. Yeah, stickers look dope. I mean, what's better than home roasted coffee? I'm just saying. Um, I'll have to bring some to the MVP summit for any coffee diehards. I'll, I'll do a special giveaway. I guess that's coming up. I got the lights going. I've uh, Hopefully they don't fall. I have them all. I redid them all in the back, so. Thank you, R2, for the sub. Coming in, of course, this is the last week uh, for us to raise funds for the Malal Fund. Uh, so definitely check that out. We'll be making a big donation on the 31st uh, so we can get that final match of the Microsoft season uh, in there. And then we'll have a brand new, um, uh, really excited uh, for this one, R brand new, uh, charity that we'll be raising money for in the beginning of uh, 2020. Very excited for it. Um, let's return to some of our roots here on the stream. It's already been a year on the stream, which is crazy. We've raised like 2,000 some odd dollars for charities in the last year, which is really awesome. So very cool. Mm. Good coffee. Good coffee. It's a little, it's a little, a little bit. I could, I could have roasted it for a little bit less. It's a little bit less, less full. It's a little bit full city. 12 months. I think it might be the full first 12 month subscriber ever. Full beard alert uh, over there, which the beard, I believe, might be coming back. We'll see. Now that I'm back to the spin classes, back to the gym, back to trying to get in shape, I think the beard can come back out. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, as you can see, I, I kind of kickstarted it so far. So I need to trim up this, get rid of this here, and then maybe it'll come back. We'll see. I was looking at some photos over the holidays of uh, of last year, and I was like, oh, it doesn't look, doesn't look too, that don't look too terrible. So we're there. So we'll see. But yeah, an exciting stream, uh, which I'm pretty uh, pretty excited for. Uh, I am not going to do uh, some Xamarin development today. I'm going to do some IoT development. If you listen to Merge Conflict last, or this week, I guess, on, the, on, on uh, the 23rd, we put it out. We talked about our holiday hacks, and I had some family in town, so I didn't do any holiday hacking at all. I haven't done anything at all. I've uh, played around with some toys that I got for Christmas, but play some video games before bed but mostly just kind of been kicking it been chilling uh, uh which is good so we're gonna do some iot uh and i haven't undone anything yet so i'm pretty excited about it uh so we got our hold it up here we have our meadow our meadow uh founding supporter dev kit that's me, James Montemagno. That's me. Has my name on it, right there. And uh, we have not even opened it. It's not even open. It is sealed right now. And this is the big shabam. This is a .NET powered IoT board with all the well uh, bells and whistles from Wilderness Labs. Our good friend Brian Kostanich and friends over there. I know a few other streamers, Xamarin streamers, may have been playing around with this recently. And it's been on my holiday, uh, been on my holiday hack list. I haven't set up anything. I haven't gone through any documentation. I haven't done anything uh, at all. <laughs> so I don't know if I need soldering things. I don't know if I need other things or what I mean. I have no idea. So we may accomplish nothing this stream. Uh, we don't know. Uh, Dilbot says he needs some IoT inspiration for his uh, for their uh, Ignite presentation. I hope that we can at least show you another option out there. Um, Steven says, uh, what was the dr drone-ish thing I saw flying by on Twitter? Um, so we, uh, yeah, and some Baby Yoda uh, uh, cookies. So yeah, Heather got me a DJI Mavic Mini. So a little tiny, itty bitty drone. So I haven't really played around with it at all. It's been dark, it's been rainy here, so it's not really drone uh, material just yet. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna probably be playing around with that next week 
I want Frank to sort of help me out do some stuff. So we'll see. But yeah, it's a very tiny, itty bitty drone. Probably super fragile. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see. But I bought the extra support on it. So we'll see how that goes, uh, which is cool. Everyone else has all the all the cool drones and all the stuff. So I'm going to play around with that, get some good footage. We were on a holiday on the honeymoon. And I was like, yeah, it'd be cool to have like a, a drone. But then they're so big. But this one is really super duper tiny. So, ooh. Let's see, IOT <laughs> says, let's see. Bup, 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 bup. Oh, Dilbot said, did the meadow last week? No Wi Fi or blue. Set. I don't know what I have in this big one. I, we'll find out and open it up. We'll do an unboxing. Soldering the headers will be useful, but you can at least get the onboard LED going. That's my plan. Basically, I don't know. And that's what we're going to find out. I haven't installed anything, I haven't done anything. So let's, uh, let's see here. Uh, I should probably take off my. We just won't look at the back, I guess. Let's see here. All the boards have no Wi-Fi Bluetooth yet. That's sad. Even the upgraded pack? Let's see. All right, so let us hop over to... Let me pop over here. I have a, I have a setup over here. Okay, let's see here. So let me pop over to my Surface. Beep. And then we should have our webcam up. There we go. I'll make it a little bit bigger here, just for a hot second. Some people dream of success while you're gonna wake up and work hard at it. Nothing is impossible. Kim Philpot's coming in, tier one for 12 months. You get that full beard support. Thank you so much for the 12 months sub. Full sub, tier one. Appreciate that, Kim. Thank you for being a supporter. You get all those sweet, sweet emotes, and of course, Support charities. Let's see here. There's a little puddle of coffee by the micro by the by the micro USB. Oh, where's it at? Right there. There it is. Thank you. I like how you see that. That's pretty good. Is there a LUT filter on this thing? Let me go to my filters. Oh, there is. Let's turn that off. We don't need that. There we go. So I turned it around so that way you see exactly what I see. So it's showing a full flip here. So. So we're opening this puppy up. I got a handwritten note. Howdy. Brian here. It's your lucky day. I think you're so cool. I think you're cool. So you're getting early access to the Meadow Beta. Welcome to the Meadow Beta program. I'm really excited to have you play with Meadow and help us validate, steer, and encourage the process. We've been working hard on Meadow for almost three years, and we're proud of what we've been able to build. Uh, it really is a major step forward in the state of hu of humankind's technological progress, and there's nothing else out there like it. With that said, however, this is an early beta release, so beware, there be dragons. There's a little baby dragon right there. Baby dragon, boop ba doop Included in your box of goodies here, you'll find a final V1 Meadow F7 dev board, as well as a hack kit pro. Frank told me to get the pro version, so that's what I did. Take your shoes off and do your best Brian impression. Yeah. <laughs> If people don't know who Brian is, Brian Costanza is a lovely individual. Uh, lives down in uh, in the Oregon area, in the middle of the woods, and uh, was the head of Xamarin Education and documentation for a long, long time. And uh, whenever he would get on stage, he would never wear shoes, uh, no socks, just that's Brian. All right, so included uh, it says beta three. I think there's brand new beta again. I got this a long time ago. Uh, represents a big milestone. It's the first beta that's uh, actually productive and running on final hardware. It's one-click deployment from Visual Studio. You know I love that one-click. Um, uh, includes PWM, I2C, SPI. I don't even know what that means. That's great. We're going to help Meadow be awesome. Don't hesitate to contact us. Heads up. As of writing, we're in the process of polishing off Last bits of release, so our bars are shipping unprovisioned. No Meta OS installed. So as with the last beta, you still need to install the OS via DFU util, which is documented in the release notes. And this is all very scary to me, people. Um, okay, so there's a thing on here. And then a crazy Brian Kastanage note. Stay tuned, blah, 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 blah. And then here's Brian Kastanage's right there. This is enough to scare me to go update my LinkedIn profile and look for another job. 
Uh, all right, so again, I'm not an IoT person at all, so we'll see how this all hacks out. Now let's do some unboxing here. We got a uh, some stuff. So these are um, which way do I gotta go this way? These are some things. I don't know. Um, there's some colorful rainbow things. Honey Pop, Honey Pop, welcome back. Number one sub giver, Honey Pop, welcome, welcome back to the channel. We got other, other, other things. Uh, uh, I, don't, I don't, these are things. Uh, okay, all right. <laughs> there's some more things. Uh, again, Frank told me to buy the 2018 Founding Supporter Edition. These are beautiful rainbow colors. <sighs> more things. These are things. All right, what else is in this box? All right, this is this is the actual box. This is the Hat Kit Pro. Frank said I needed to spend the money to support Brian like a good friend, and uh, that's what I did. So I spent all the money. So I guess what I needed to I guess, do here is I need to go to, it says on the box, developer.wildernesslabs.co slash capital hack, capital kit. Uh, of course, no HTTPS. Here's what's in it. Hat Kit Pro. Got an awesome... I don't know why this doesn't span the whole page. Is this for some reason? No. Nope. Maybe because it's optimized for mobile phone? I don't know. Got an awesome Wilderness Labs Hat Kit and want to know what to build with it? I do. Oh, I want to do this. Oh, maybe I can do it with a, one of these. Maybe I'll do that. I don't know if I want to build my own Simon game. What's in it? Okay, so we have a we have um, stuff here. Yeah, we're doing some IoT stuff, Honey Pop, this week. Uh, it's my it's my uh, holiday hacks. Every holiday break, I like to do some hacks where I get to do some stuff I don't normally get to work on. Makes me feel good inside. And um, yeah, this week we're working on some IoT stuff with this Meadow kit that I got here. And I was pretty excited to to reset up my stream and do like another all the webcams and all the all the IO. So this thing comes with some servos, some rotary encoder knobs, a breadboard, um, a two channel relay board. So this is uh, some LEDs, red, green, and blue. Maybe we'll do a little. I want, what I would love to do is something in the background where it displays, like, oh, here's what we should really do is if I had an LCD screen um, on it, which we could probably get, every time we get a new subscriber, maybe we could have that scroll in the background. How cool would that be? That'd be cool via the Twitch API. That'd be pretty rad. Um, moisture sensor, a Swift register, a shift register, an IO expander. Um, yeah, you can also tap on this. Um, where's my what at? There we go. And there's a link to the Wilderness Labs right there. Uh, what else do we have? We have a. Oh, we do have an LCD character display. Ooh. Oh man, I'm glad I got this thing. Should I be worried uh, if enabling Hyper-V for Docker? Uh, yes. I, I mean, if it keeps crashing your machine, that would be bad. Oh. That seems bad. Um, yes. I mean, that seems that seems concerning. I'd get maybe a system, maybe, and see. There's a resistor kit, capacitor kit, diodes, a DC motor. Holy bananas. There's all these stuff that's not even documented. All right, let's see what's inside this pup. So you got some stickers. Cool. All right. Attention. This is a nice little mat, too, for this. So th I think this is the board. I think this is the... There's stuff stuck in the board, so that's good. Some people dream of success while you're going to wake up and work hard at it. Nothing is impossible. Nothing is impossible. All right, I'm just going to adjust this camera just a little bit here. There we go. Lashlon, thank you so much. We're your Twitch Prime five months. Boom. Thank you, thank you so, so much. I appreciate that. Um, how moist is my coffee? That's a great question. Moist. Uh, all right, these, there's so many little things in here. That's impressive. Uh, and I remember what Frank told me. Frank said like, oh, I could go buy all these little things online, uh, but it's nice that they're all just here. Oh, here it is. This is a capacitive soil uh, moisture sensor, version 1.2. That's cool. For a 
battery for nine volt. Yeah, Lashon, thank you so much for the five months. You're almost at that six month coveted new cool little thing. Peel me. That's cool. That's pretty cool. Look at that. All right, let's see what this thing is. It all kind of goes, I guess, in here. I don't, I don't know what any of these are. Here's a breadboard. I got two breadboards. I got two breadboards. That's so cool. We got a. What the heck is this stuff? Oh, yeah, you know what I also got? I'm very excited about it. It finally did happen. I got the. Um, I, did, I finally got the Doge, the Haha -ha Doge. I'm very excited about that. <laughs> So this, let's see what we got here. This is the this is the LCD display. Dope. That's really. I guess I have to solder these things. So I, I definitely won't be soldering today. Frank will have to help me with that because I'm an idiot. There's a bunch of just like nuts and screws in here. I don't know why, but they're there. That's cool. Um, I guess these are the these are the the lights. I guess I think these are the LED lights here. The green ones. There's a blue. Is there a red one? There's a red one deep in there. Come on. Come on. There's a red one. They'd so do like a red and green for Christmas. That'd be kind of cool. A little red and green in there. We went to the Living Computer Museum yesterday with my father in law, and they had this huge old mainframe that they use the breadboards. No soldering required. Oh. Even oh, because you could just put it into the little holes. Where's the? Come on, camera. I guess into there. That's cool. How come this thing is not? Oh, look at my. Look at my uh, Logitech settings here. What's this thing doing? refocus on this thing I just recently like redid the camera stuff. I don't want auto white balance I just feel like that's too much right there we go. all right so I think that this is the board all right so ooh, there's a just random wire I think this is the board it says attention that seems important that's good I guess you don't have to solder anything if it's there all right so this is a uh what is that uh, S, uh, I don't know what I don't know what this is. What is this? Something. All right, this looks like a. Uh, I'll open it up. Hey Roma, how's it going? It's going good. We're opening up this uh, this kit here. Yeah, what is that thing? We can look at what's on this DC motor capacitive kit. Did your breadboard come with headers attached? Great question. So I think I think it's for the DC motors or no oh this is a uh, uh, this is a power thing this is a uh, D uh, 5 VD DC this is like a power thing I think I think this that's what that is Does anyone know what that is I think that's what that is Let's see if I can put it up here there we go. is it gonna come on come on oh, there you go Come on. Okay, look at that Logitech. Look at that Logitech just doing awesome things. Sans Logitech. I think that's the DC resistor kit. Alright, so breadboards. I got two breadboards. Um that's for doing mains. Again, I know nothing about IoT. One time I made a robot because Frank uh helped me. I don't know what the headers are. These are I can peel that off. These two are the same. Let's your oh make your meadow run the coffee machine. I don't know what it says peel me. It says peel me on here. There's nothing to peel. It just says peel me, but there's nothing to peel. Oh, maybe that's for like the back of this. Yeah, it says peel me. There's nothing to nothing nothing to peel. It's <laughs> funny. All right, cool. So all right, let's go to this. Uh, it is laser engraved. It is nice. Look at that. That's nice. But I guess you would go like you put it on on there like that. 
Getting started. Brian says. Oh, okay. So here's our. I see. Uh, is that a coaster? No, it's not a coaster. Does it smell bad? No, it smells. Like, it smells. Uh, mm, it smells like a, a fireplace. Nice. I'm way up, I feel blessed. Brian from Bellevue. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. <laughs> it also has a board mounting plate. A board mounting plate. I don't know if I have a board mounting plate. We have, um, these are motors. I think this is, uh, Oh, is this a, uh, this is a little noisemaker thing. And I think that this uh, is a button. I don't know what that is. Uh, I don't know if I got a mounting. I got this. I, I mean, that's what, oh, you think it, because it should. Brian gave me a bunch of stuff one time. The coast is for mounting the meadow and the breadboard, like this. Basically this. So let's go a little bit smaller here. So I sound like this. So this is the, the meadow. There's a bunch of screws in here. I don't want those. Okay, so let's take this puppy out. Let's do it. There, there it is. You can tell which camera is like way better. Stupid Logitech. There we go. Yeah, so there's nothing else on it. Uh, so there is no Wi-Fi. There is no anything else, but it is designed in Portland, Oregon. There's a setup walkthrough guide. Now let's do that. Uh, oh, this is on hacks, right? Okay, so you would think it would just go in here. Okay, so getting started. How many lights? Just one? Oh, on it. Uh, yeah, I think there's just one on it right there. I think right here. I think right there. There's Wi-Fi and Bluetooth hardware, but the former doesn't support it yet. Okay, so assemble your meadow board. I'm ready. This is what I have this. These are the things that I have. Okay, let me, um, this is great because actually if I put this here like this, like this website is specifically formatted like for Christmas. Make it blink every time you build. <laughs> That'd be cool. All right, so we need a, we have our board, we have this, we have a breadboard. I have this, what else do I need? I need a, um, so I need these tiny little screws. There's, wow, a lot of them. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Uh, okay. I don't need that. And I need, okay, I need, oh, there's a pin in here. There's a nice little, nice little pin. <laughs> buried in there another transistor thingy all right so we need more stickers apparently these are cool i like these little ones little stickers i guess i could do it this way big hot big horrors thank you for uh coming in welcome kim says i gotta go look at the kids look forward to catching the vod thanks i will have a great stream you have a great uh afternoon evening i guess so right now we're figuring out, we're just setting stuff up. This is day one. A lot of people on the stream have already backed this and already have set it up. So I'm, I'm very late to the game, but we're doing it together because I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, okay. So here's another, another one. Oh, there goes another one. So we are missing two. Oh, I see one more. One more in here. Check. One more. Oh, I see little screws. I see the little screws. 
got one little screw here, another little screw here, and two more here. And then, gosh, um, we need th these two, so this will go here. I'm gonna line it up just like in the photo. Just like, look at this. Look at that, that is a thing of beauty. Okay. Um, and that, oh gosh. Now we're missing one more little, little washer. Oh wait, that's, this looks important. Whoa, there's like speakers? You have this board? You have this board? I, I've had it for like a year now in my closet and I haven't, oh, what's this? Like a little USB dongle. Um, let's see, I gotta find this other one. Where's my other little washer at? Where's the little washer at? Is it in here? Nope. Come on, little washer. Where you be at? Where you be at? Hmm. Not there. All right, we might go sans, uh, sans, uh, little washer. Don't see it. Yeah, definitely. I was, it was, everything was organized a second ago. Now it's a hot mess. All right, we'll go sans that one. How much was this kit? I think it was a hundred dollars. Um, let me double check here. Kickstarter? I think it was, uh, I think it was a hundred. Let's check it. Um, I have the, oh, I have the hack kit pro $150. So let me, um, I was gonna do the light, but then Frank told me to do the full one. Let me let me pop this puppy in here so you can open it up. So this one, yeah, this is the one I got. The board plus the hat kit pro. Yeah, and it has like all the things, basically. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, pretty good. Oh, this is what I want to do. I want to do that. Okay. Um. <laughs> okay. So let's fi finish this up. There, there are some nuts which I can't find. So. All right. Remove the protective cover on the wood. So there definitely is not. Does this say there's supposed to be two of these? One. Okay. No, just this. There definitely is no, there was supposed to be something on here, but there's definitely not. And it runs .NET. Yeah, that's correct. Solder meadow header pins. Oh, I definitely am not gonna do that, but I guess you would just put these in here, right? Like the header pins. Oh, so you're saying like it came with the header pins, but they're not soldered on like that. So. Now solder the blue to here to here so i shouldn't maybe actually put it in there yet place breadboard and meadow so yeah, i guess you would flip it over and then solder all of these together on the back <clears throat> does it have to be soldered to work i don't believe so no from what everyone's in the chat room is telling me so let us flip this puppy over like so they're saying that the breadboard should go here Remove the plastic cover under the breadboard and stick it firmly. All right, like here. Like that. Let's peel this off. I don't, I don't think it has to be soldered, but yeah. All right, so place each, so you, if you wanted to, you should you should solder it like this. You know what I mean? Is it crooked? No. 
I only get one stick, so no. <laughs> so like ideally, I see. So like it should go like, I see like, how does he do it? Is it four nuts on, four nuts on top, four nuts on the bottom? Oh, I see. I see. The suspense. Fasteners. So you do something like, Frank, Frank needs to solder it, but I don't think we need to actually solder it. Did he do four on top and four on the bottom? Is that what, is that what he did here? See four on the bottom here. Put each screw in the corners with one nut. So pla so and so then placing on the base, it will sit flat and the solder pin won't get contact with the base. Yeah, so what you wanna do is you wanna, so there's one on the bottom. So why is there, why is there eight of them then? Now you can finally fix Oh, underneath on the other side, I see. So you would put like this here, I see, put one underneath, so. I'll see these if you adjust it, but uh, let's see, I'm just gonna adjust this here for best viewing angle, there we go. Okay, so. If you don't attach the handle, if you don't attach the headers, you're going, you're not going to get very far. Aren't they attached without the soldering? I don't have a soldering gun though. It just means you won't need to solder individual components. Yeah, so I'm thinking what I'll have to do is go to Frank's house, have him solder, solder stuff for me. You know what I mean? in general, but I think I can put the board on like so. You know what I mean? And then just undo it, I guess. It's kind of weird. It's like a little tiny little thing. Yeah, he should have done it out of the factory. One would, one would have thought. So if I just sit here, you gotta solder them on. You can live stream the bike ride to Frank's house. Got it. I could probably. Well, what I'll do is I'll just put it. I'll just put it on right now. But I won't actually. I won't probably do anything with the breadboard today. I'll just put it here so it's on it. You know what I mean? So what I'll do is I'll just simply do. Um, I'll just do like two of these, and set the rest off to the side for now. So that way it's at least on the board, and then I can solder these on later. And. Um, and go from there. I don't like to solder things. I'm not a, I don't know. I don't, I don't have a soldering gun, so, or soldering station. That's probably, then that's my issue with IOT, is that I don't have any, I don't have anything. So, I guess I need to. Let's see, I'll just, I'll just throw this thing on. Again, we're just gonna put it on just so I can, I can attempt to, I can just attempt to do at least the thing out of the box, right? So I could like try to blink the light that's on it, maybe. Edit there in hand and a shiny new soldering iron. Yeah, I guess maybe I need to get a soldering iron. I love this board though that it's on. That's super nice. I guess you shouldn't need, like even with the breadboard, you don't need to solder it, right? It's only, I guess if it's only if you're using the headers, which makes it way more easier to use, which, but you guess I'll just shove the things in there, right? Right? I guess I need a USB cable. Is this USB-C? Okay, well, let's, up <laughs> let's update this thing. Anyways, our board's put together. Cool. Yeah, worth it. So you bought some gear just for that? I'll have to ask Frank what I should buy. It looks like it's fun so far. Okay. Deploy Meadow OS. Mm. It's this is recommended for Windows users. Okay. Uh, so cool. I've not installed anything. Okay. So let's install Visual Studio. Yeah. This this is it's already wobbly. Micro USB. Perfect. Let's bust open Visual Studio. Oh. And 
let's type in there's updates. Ooh. I don't know why I feel I feel like I need to update stuff if it's just sitting there. Let's see here. Meadow. VS tools for Meadow. I like that. Close. I love if it's this easy. Alright, now I need to get a um Oh you know, I have um I have a cable. Which no, the question is which cable is plugged into this computer? Hmm. Hmm. It would be convenient if it was this one. Uh, how do I test this? Let me see. Oh, let me see if I, what's plugged in here. Oh boy. Perfect length. Lovely. Figured everything was you know, micro USB. So install it, shut down all instances, and re restart Visual Studio. Okay. Click this. Do this. Oh, I didn't do it. I didn't have any of this. Um, that's it. <laughs> Click. Install. Next, let's install MetaOS. Mm. Okay, so if you previously installed MetaOS, which I did not, okay, open Visual Studio, select continue without code. Um, open Meta Device Explorer. Uh, let's put this over here. Let's do this. All right, so go into uh, open view. Um, other windows, meadow. Oh, where is it at? Did it install? Let's double check this part. Oh, it did not. That's weird. All right, that's strange. Okay. Maybe because I did an update and an install, it probably got mad at me. Uh, all right, there we go. I was like, what is going on? So how many people in the chat already have this thing? It seems like five or six people have it. Anyone do anything cool with it? Like any magical things? Okay, done. Okay, let's try this again. Mm -hmm. All right, continue without code. Slap it over here. View, other windows, meadow. Right, so you get this little puppy here. Click download Meta OS. All right. I don't know if it actually did anything. <laughs> A little. It flashed an LED. Oh, you flashed an LED. <laughs> That's exactly what we're trying to do. Okay, so connect your Meadow. Uh, oh, on the breadboard. Nice. Connect your Meadow device in bootloader mode. By connecting your device while holding down the boot button. Okay, so hold, here's the here's the boot button. Holding it down. Uh, 
great question. So it, it's similar. It's, it's a, a small uh, device like that, but it runs .NET directly on it. And uh, yeah, it's a small device. Like, let's see. Uh, I get. does it, do I know if it did it? Um, all right, so the bootloader is there because it says eject bootloader. Uh, all right, so flash device. Oh, there's an output window. Uh, this is this is of importance. This output window here. Yes, yeah, so it's a little. Yeah, there you go. It's more like an Arduino or Netduino, actually. So a little microcontroller. Yeah. So, oh, look at this. It's doing stuff. I like this. This is happening. Yeah. Mm. Got those bananas. Okay, so Raspberry Pi is more of a full-blown ARM computer. Got it. Yes, and you can run like Windows on the Raspberry Pi, right? So it's got like a whole shebang. Resetting device complete. All right. So, oh, COM3. It's there. It's there, people. It is there. So choose the correct port, hint open device manager. So device, oh. Ugh. <laughs> Lashlan says, uh, redeem those bananas. I have a hundred bananas, but I'm a bit confused what to do with them. Now you only have 400. You can get some emotes. You can do a bunch of other, em other emotes. I gotta do some cool stuff with it and then get a bot going. Ports and com, yeah, USB, I guess it's this one. Yep, COM3, perfect. Yeah, it was built for .NET Standard. Yeah, built with .NET Standard 2.0 in mind, yeah. So uh, uh, Brian Castanage, who runs Wilderness Labs, came from the Xamarin team, so built with .NET in mind. Uh, all right, so this is good. All right, he hello, Meadow. Let's do it. It's been deployed. You can create and deploy a Meadow app. Uh, all right, so I did it. So you'll need to ensure that you have the 7-2. Let's double check that. Let's double check it. So here we have our available, we have our installed, we have our modify. We need our individual components and 4-7-2 SDK. Okay. Let's shut this down. Let's just go ahead and do we always install the targeting pack, but not the other ones. Let's modify that. Dilbot, yep, have a good one. So far we've flashed this puppy. I'm very excited about it. So we'll see how that goes. Have a good one. Thanks for stopping in. And of course they'll be on VOD and on YouTube as well. So, so you can subscribe as well for all that stuff. Have a good one. Have a good afternoon, day, wherever you're at. So, so yeah, ideally you just take any .NET standard app and then, or, or, you know, library and then deploy it. So you could use .NET standard libraries with it, and then you can also, you know, that's what you're deploying it with. So let's say launch. All right, so we've already installed it. Create a new Meadow project. New project. Search for Meadow. All right, new Meadow app. Next. We'll call this Blinky, Blinky Light One. I just blinky light. All right, so we got blinky light going on. So search for Meadow Project. There's COM3, so we got it there, cool. Blah, blah, blah. Name your, oh, I didn't name it Hello Meadow, I lied. Nah. I feel like you need to farm, let's see what, blah, blah, blah. Let's spend them. The banana, yeah, the ban banana. So what you can do is when you're in there, the channel points, you can unlock a sub emote. You can highlight a message. You can send, well, I guess there is no message for sub only mode. So there's that. You can unlock an emote, modify a single emote. That's pretty cool. That's probably the coolest one. 
So there's there. Uh, could be. I don't know. Should be. All right, so let's see what we got here. So we have a Blinky app. Manage the, I'm gonna follow it. Manage the nuggets. Updates. <laughs> Update, all right. Deploy your application. Oh my goodness. All right, let's see what this does. So we got a, um, let's do this. Let's put this over here, this here, this down here. And let's move, let's see the setup here. Okay, cool. That's pretty good. So by default, we get a Meadow app. We have two parts. We have a program, which just does creates a new Meadow app. And what is this thing? This thing is a does a net four seven two app. So the app is net four seven two. It's a Meadow SDK project with this nugget in here. What is modify and emote? Oh, modify and emote is let you put like glasses or smush or do different things to the emote. So your emotes that you have. So let's say I did, um, let me take mooch and then let's say I put sunglasses on. There we go. So let's say I, I have unlimited. So let's say I did this. So I did this. Well, Santa cap on mooch. So you can do stuff like that. So that's modify an emote. Yeah. <laughs> kind of cool. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, I don't know what they... Uh, I don't know. I don't think he. they are running .NET Core on it. I think it's just a version of .NET itself. But it it it, it is .NET Standard 2.0 compliant, I guess? <laughs> yeah, I think there's only so many options. That you can do. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see if I can do. Uh... Mm. Then it's nice if you're not a subscriber, and then you can do stuff like that. So let's say I put a Duke. I could put a. <laughs> That's great. Put a reindeer nose on the Duke. <laughs> oh geez. Um. But yeah, to me, like it's usually not. Um. I don't really care about the runtime all that much. So. So whatever. Whatever's on there's on there. Okay. So let's see if we can. Deploy. Okay, so this thing starts it up. There's a Meadow app. And this just, I guess, pulses the color. So it finds this LED. Just so it has a device. So this is an app, which is, oh, I see. So it's a, the app is templated, which is, says where D is a class, which I guess is this controller here. It's F7 controller. So this has all the things about the board. Yes, it runs on a controller. It runs a custom build of mono. There you go, yeah. Because mono, which is, yeah, 472, so there you go. Yes, this is a microcontroller. So this is the RGB PWM LED and the pulse duration. How's it, oh, I see, it run, so while true, Run red, green, blue colors. Start pulse. Oh, that's cool. What else does this have built in? So RGB, blue forward, blue color, green forward. Set color. Start blink. Start pulse. Stop. So this starts a pulse of the color that we pass in. That's cool. Let's just use a normal color. It's a color. It's a color from. I wish it was just a net standard, just a normal .NET color. That kind of stinks a little bit there. Uh, but yeah, anyways, you pulse it, red, green, blue. Starts pulsing, it does a sleep timer, and then it stops that color, and then it goes to the next one. All right, oh, okay, so I guess I can just run it. Initializing Meadow on COM3. Initializing Meadow version 
deploying files. It sends an XE, a DLL, uh, MS Core lib it's over to it. That must be a big one. Yeah, so what is on the uh, the meadow itself? So I think you can't even buy it yet. It's just like production, but it's all about plug and play, blah, 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 blah. There's a temperature sensor. That's cool. Dev board. So it's kind of like here's a breakdown of it, comparing it to if it's microcontroller based or not. So Arduino and Raspberry Pi and integrated Wi-Fi, they don't have the BLE or Wi-Fi, I guess, on it yet. So. Still writing the MS Core Lib. Shop, can I buy it? Pre-sell, $50. And then here's, you can still buy this kit. Mm -hmm. Okay, so debug, understanding hello world. This is good. So if you're connected, uh, created a .NET console app before, the program class should look familiar. It's very simple and only includes a static main method that initiates our Meadow app. So this is what it does. The pattern allows us to have an app instance in which all things Meadow are done. So I create a new Meadow app and then just has an infinite timeout. So it just runs forever. Um, you know, I think that it's trying to compete with Arduinos and it's the next generation net net Duino. But I mean, I would say the idea is that yes, that it's trying to compete with the Raspberry Pi and Arduino, but just for different, but micro based controller based, microcontroller based instead of like CPU based, things like that. So. I can't really speak for 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 the company though, but let's see. So the app. So we looked at this class before. So we have the colors. We're pulsing it. Meadow namespaces. Okay. So let's break down the namespaces. We got meadow, devices, foundation, LEDs, Ooh, command line. Um, let's see what we got here. So. So it's, I'm in debug mode, so I should be. Oh, okay. We got a, we got a, a, a red. And I guess it's every three seconds, so it should be. Right. Oh, that's really pulsing. What's the pulse of red, green, and blue? Hmm. What did it? Um... Uh, yeah. Yeah, because here I'm just like deploying the files to the board that'll be run automatically, I guess. So I guess here I just run without deploying. Let's see. It's definitely red still. So it's definitely here. Yep. Let's see, it'll deploy this again. So Meadow is the name of the root space enabling interact with the Meadow OS. Devices, uh, specific definitions for Meadow boards, such as this board. Foundation is a set of open source peripheral drivers. Okay. Let's see if it'll go in not debug mode. I don't quite understand the difference, but uh, no. Let's try it again. Okay, so let's turn it off. Turn it off, turn it back on. Now, that's the thing is, I guess, like being powered here, it should actually be the code should actually run still. a lot of them in there for some reason. Let's see. A 
let's see the app class blah 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 this device let's see all meta applications should inherit from app under the hood app registers itself with the meta os it provides hooks for getting notified during system events such as board being put to sleep app requires two parameters oh, here we are now deployed again it looks like I don't know. App exited with code zero. Hmm, let's try to debug it again. Let's see. All true. So you're co controlling the LEDs. So there's LEDs on board, red, green, blue. Direct access to hardware I.O. is generally available via ports and buses. Car? Um, it, to automatically close the console when debugging stops, enable tools, options, debugging, automatically close when the console. Because there's red. Am I supposed to be able to debug it? I don't actually know. Okay, now we got green. So now it's actually running. I guess breakpoints don't work. Interesting. I don't know why it didn't deploy before, but let's see. It's where that pulse is, is pulse. It doesn't, I feel like it's not actually. It should be like pulsing is like my thought. Pulse the LED light emitted on board. Port, so here are the ports, the three ports, pins. Oh, I see, so here's all the pins on the board. So, so there are, there's only, yeah, RGB, obviously, dir. So red, so you get the red, green, blue. This looks correct. Okay. So this is what I want to do. It should okay. So this is what this is the actual other instructions. So let's see if this on Hackster IO does anything here. Um, all right. So download Visual Studio. Got it. I wonder if this is just out of the box. Boot button. Did it. I don't I feel like this didn't actually reinstall these correctly like um let's close this project and reopen it I just sort of feel as though it didn't actually restore the nougats correctly that, that's kind of my I don't know how it actually deployed anything, but I don't I didn't see any of these previously. So let's try this again over here. Let's try to run it again. So I think this is just out of the box showing us the 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 ports. Oh, this is a little bit different. program file oh this is exits if not debugging okay so let's try to comment that out so this says uh, exit on debug so if not debugging then it just exits I guess so where this instruction does something a little bit different so it creates a digital IO port. So this is actually creating this 
RGB LED. So it's like, hey, there's this, there's this RGB, and we're gonna assign the three different pins on it. So that's the thing is, it should like blink different colors. I don't see it. It'd be nice if this had a little. Oh, there's a point of error. Let's see what this does. Oh, it's funny that this, the file new is different than what's in the other one. Interesting, it must be upgraded then. I see. Mm, okay, we have to debug this puppy. Like it's a little iffy here. What's the thing? It says semaphore timed out period has expired. Okay, I guess maybe I need to turn it on off. Is there an on off button? Unplug it, re-plug it back in. Ba -ba -da. You can also follow the direction and all of it too and see if it's a little bit different. Ba -ba -da. Understanding, we've created this thing, it does this thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, now the debug session is starting. Well, this is good. I see. Oh, okay. I feel better about this all of a sudden. Let's put this away. Oh. Uh, okay. DLL not found exception. Just join. Uh, I'm creating a thing. Uh, you creating a thing to do a thing. Yeah, I'm creating a thing to attempt to do a thing. That's great. Oh my goodness. Uh, okay, so let's try it again. Let's see where it failed. So we just opened up, hey Blazer, Mr. Magoo. We just opened up our, um, let me just do a little what here. We just opened up our Meadow board, which is a .NET uh, powered IoT microcontroller. And we're attempting to just do file new. We, we went through the hack kit. We put the little board together here. Now we're just trying to get it to debug and run and do some stuff. So we're seeing if this will run over here. So we will see. Full duration, 3000. So it outputs all that stuff. That's good. Deployment, it seems like it really does not like to, to, to debug that thing. Let's see if I can just not Put it on here. Oh, I can see it pulsing. It does seem to be pulsing now, but it doesn't seem to be changing its color. So let's try to. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. When in doubt, just unplug it completely. <laughs> so, so far. Kind of been not super duper successful, but supposed to pulse. Doing this thing, resetting meadow. Mm -hmm. So it's pulse 
supposed to pulse this. Okay, so it is pulsing. So if we go here, you can see it pulsing, but it's not really changing colors. It's always red. I'd really like to debug it and find out why. Sort of like the thread that sleep is hung. Which is strange. Well, let's do this. Let's, I mean, it does do those colors. Let's try to debug it again. The loop is not running. Yeah, that's not running. Oh, so you think it's just getting here and then stopping? Um... Your an exception is being thrown? Like, I'm curious if an exception is thrown, then it's just sort of in the state, right? Where, like, the last command is just running? window over here real quick like um can you go async and use task.delay i don't think so uh, that's a good question i don't know if it i don't think it implements i don't think there's oh maybe let's just wait to see here if this actually deploys or not the thing is I get a weird exception when I debug my assumption is that I can debug it right Check the files. Re restarting, resetting it. Yeah, see, I just get an exception like right here. Unable to load NUTTX. something nope mm, something else let's see um, maybe we'll, let's refresh let's let's reflash the device maybe Let's try that out. Let's go in here and try that really quick. So I'm gonna hold down the boot, plug it in. And then let's flash the device, just to be sure. Let's close this out.
might test this out too. Let's see if we can get this one working instead. But file new should work. All right, so resetting the device. Let's refresh the COM ports. Let's do that. Yeah, Meta OS. Nut acts as the OS, the thing. It, is it? I don't know if it is. Oh, it's based on that. That makes some sense. You know more than I do already. So yeah, unless 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 the uh, maybe this is for an older firmware. They looks like they just updated it recently. That's why I don't understand U UDP. Unless they just updated it, but this hasn't updated yet. You know what I mean? Hmm. Because it gets to it gets to here. That's the funky part about it. Because it actually gets to the it, it like runs it. UPD Meta Devices UPD. Hmm. Well, let's try. Um, let's try this code here instead. Let's just try this instead of this thing here. Let's write this code that, that they have in here. So we can just get rid of some of this, right? So we go into here and we put this down here, and let's just give it some digital output ports. That's going to come from the hardware itself. And mm, here we can just grab those. So funnily enough, like it is the same onboard, but we're just grabbing them and not the array, I guess. So let's just do a public void. Let's just do this here. So this will just switch the state, turn them on and off, on and off, on and off. So All right, let's do this and let's do, yeah, maybe it has something to do with this thing that like got updated or something. And like all this says is just to do that app, new app. And like this just says, like, that's also like, do you need to thread sleep? Like maybe you don't need to thread sleep this anymore. It's kind of weird but you'll try yours in parallel nice do it i mean i just did file new so yeah i don't i don't know but this one should specifically look like this oh gosh darn it then I get this semaphore thing all the time. I wonder if um, I wonder if there's a, a developers. Where's the I get this semaphore thing all the time. Semaphore. It's like it's like some bug somewhere. Semaphore. Meta deployment issues. But it, yeah, that's what I get all the time. Some of the failed deploying another internal message. We've tried three different PCs. Seems to begin this issue. However, the I just got us haven't deployed. Uh huh. Only supports running an assembly called app. I changed the assembly name, and that's when the semaphore thing had an issue. Well, that definitely didn't do it. Huh? That would be weird. Um, I wonder if it's just selecting like the wrong port. 
Guess that the app that is on the board by default, it blinks color after I plug it in. I sort of feel like the board seems to stop. Or is it file new project, right? So the file new project should have like the pulse. It should be like calling the pulse command on it. Let's try to see this again. Just one properties. that maybe ah I just get the semaphore issue maybe it's the this one I don't know frustrating Okay, so let's unplug this thing. Oops. Unplug it again. So now if I click this, I should get nothing. That's the funny part about it. Close VS and reopen it, maybe. Nothing there. Okay, so let's plug it back in. And we should be able to take off these. Refresh device boards. We get one. Okay. Hit debug. Multiple COM4 ports listed. Hmm. Well, at least other people are having issues with it, but I don't know. Yeah, you know, just get this issue. Not NUTTX cannot be found. Um, when debugging. It's funny because now it's actually running. So it, it that, that's the funny part. Oh, it's so convenient. So I get like a debug exception, but it actually is now running. Funnily enough. <laughs> it's where did I get that exception though. I don't know why. Okay, so if we can it run Xamarin, it can run .NET standard libraries. I mean, Xamarin is iOS and Android, so no, <laughs> it's just .NET. It runs .NET though, so yes. So it runs .NET, like literally there's a thing in here. And the same problem when debugging Android via USB. Oh yeah, that's weird. Yeah, so that's good. All right, so let's let me put back this other thing then. Let's do this. How many colors does it support? Well, it's RGB, so whatever RGB supports, I guess. I don't know. But let us do this. 
let's put this back. Let's put this back. Let's put this one back, because ideally this would be pulsing. Let's try this out. Oops. All right, so back to the main. So we grab the device, and then we should be able to grab the... I'm way up, I feel blessed. Epitut, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that. Thanks for hanging out while we... Uh, Attempt to figure out this board. We do have it blinking colors at some point we did, so that's good. So the actual tutorial works. It looks like something in the debug. Maybe they, they just flashed it. So it's, it's fascinating because it it does continue. In that case, it continued to run it, but now it continues to not run it, which is kind of weird. You know what I mean? Point files. Dot dot dot. So this so this should be pulsating the color. So it's pulsating that, which is good. But it doesn't want to change it to green or to the other colors. Like it just kind of stops after a little bit here. Should be like three seconds, but let's change this to 500. And try it again. Because the other one worked, which is kind of funny. Oops. Oh, it's probably this. Hmm. Like, unless the const or something is messed up. It's weird that the color is actually doing it. Can I actually do... Oh, so it's just state. Um, so if you use the if you use the digital digital output port, just the state is either on and off. So you're grabbing those colors and then turning them on or off. And then here, this is supposed to be like specific to understand the LED on it. So yeah, the semaphore thing. This thing is specific to this board. Whatever this board is, this deployment thing is having issues. It's, I think because it's like still running. So it's like mad for some reason. I wish there was a way to just like turn it off via turn it off via um, like this meadow device, like re restart, restart device. That's what I want. <laughs> Render all pixel colors from each frame of a video TV. That'd be uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a little LCD in there, so I could probably do something. I don't know if it's color though. Let's see if this works again. So we got this before, but when I continued, it worked before. So, so it continues to run the code, even though that exception happens. So I don't know what that, maybe that exception is something new in the firmware they just put out. So that could be it. But here it's fascinating because this should, now it started to pulse here. There we go. Okay, now, so something with... Oh, that's fascinating. Okay, so there's something with the... This, hopefully it works again. It, it moved to green, though. And then it stopped again. This looks handy. CLI. Ooh. Oh, interesting. I don't know where 
Where did it live, though? So yeah, it's fascinating that it started and then stopped. So some of this pulse is not right. Give me a VS command. <sighs> Where does it live? Oh, it's. I have to download it. <laughs> Once I sign in. Registered. I did. I already registered. Please check your email. Yeah, it's just control C, control V though, so that's not bad. I guess I have it here. Let's see. Oh, I see. I have it in my. I just can't. I just can't type. I can do this though. There you go. Let's see. I have. I do have an account. I do have an account. So I download the CLI, so maybe that'll work better. Yeah, let's put this in documents. That sounds great. Oh, geez. See what was all in there. I guess all this junk was in here. This is the new Windows terminal. Yeah, I just installed it because, um, kind of have all the things in one which I kind of like and default it I was pinning random things on here so that's kind of good uh, all right so all right let's see here so if I do Ooh, okay so Opening port, port not available. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Maybe I can't be running that. Oh, number of serial port. I'd be um, com three. Um, I don't know what it is. I hate CLIs. Uh. List ports. Com three. Cool. Ah.
Oh, so it automatically find a port not available. That's good. Uh, let's try this again. I'm just curious if it's like, uh, you can't. Oh, there you go. Because it's like locked. Um. Okay. Um. Well, let's try this other thing. Maybe there's something with this pulse thing that's not good. Let's try to set this thing up on here. So we're gonna need a. Generic LED, let's do a green one. Let's do a yellow one, that's my favorite color. Okay, and I, I guess I'm gonna unplug this first. I don't know if I can plug stuff in while it's going, but um, let's not, it'll execute myself. I guess I need a, got a breadboard, jumper wires, which I guess are these, I guess. Jumper wires. What are jumper wires? I guess it's these. Because you need it to be in and in. An ohm transistor. I don't need that. Uh, is that this? Is that this thing? Is this an ohm transistor? I doubt you'll get electrocuted on that low of voltage. Is this an ohm transistor? Resistor? 220? It looks like it. I need bigger pictures. Oh, that is way too small. <laughs> What's the photo? So tiny. Uh, all right, so. Oh, no, that doesn't look like it. Can I just use like a jumper kit like this thing? Ah, so complicated. Um, resistor has color stripes on it. This blue one? Working with the Ohm is measure of resistance. This one is? I need 220 ohm. This one? Okay, that one's a 220. I don't know what I'm doing. Who, who gave me this board? Okay, let's see. So I have this. Uh, RGB is a light. Yep, cathode. Uh huh. I can't type. That's a resistor. Yeah, resistor 22 ohm. And this is just a jumper cable. These little jumper cables. Uh -huh. Ooh. Is this the one that I want? There's two. So this one is, why are these different? Control an LED with the digital output. This one is control RGB with digital. Are these the same? I think I want this one first because this one is a generic LED. Oh, I see. And then this one. Oh, I see. Let's do this one first. They require the same things. I see. So. All right, I got it. So this is just the generic LED. So this is yellow. And then this one is um, white, so it has all four. Oh, can't get in there. Got it, I got it. So I just don't, I don't want that, I want the yellow one. Let's see what we have, y'all. Hey, Yarpin, how's it going? Oh, I see, got it. Yeah, so this one definitely looks exactly like that. Ohm resistor color. Mm-hmm. Cool. There's a lot of them. There's so many. Oops. So I need that. I guess you use a lot of these all the time, I guess. No assumption. All right, so there's that. And then what else do I need? I need 
Breadboard jumper wires, generic, cool. So there's this, working with an LED. Okay, so this, do I need to do all this stuff here? I guess this is saying to like set up uh, these things. So it says, to wire the LED, simply connect the shorter leg cathode. There's a shorter leg? Okay, so there's a shorter leg. Shorter leg to the ground. And for the longer, use a 220. Oh, I see. So, okay. So... Here, I'm going to set it up to 20 and 19. So I put, I put it in, just like that. Come on, camera. So longer leg in 20, G. Uh, shorter leg in 19 each. And there's a ground, so I guess I need to figure out how to do this thing here. Or do these colors matter? That's my question. I, don't know if you know. I assume not, just for color coordination. So this one should go from, this one's even shorter. Not that short, but. So this should go from, so this should go from 19 to 19. Here to here. This is the ground, so I'm gonna put in the ground. Oops. Okay, put in the ground here. <laughs> and I'm gonna try, I'm trying to set up this. This is what we're trying to do. And I'll be happy if I can just blink a yellow color. We'll see. Thanks, Sushinator. Happy uh, belated holiday. Still the holidays. We got the New Year's coming up. That's a holiday. That's exciting. So let's see. So we want to go 19 to 19, ground to ground. So minus to 19. Okay. I like these diagrams. This is very helpful. Um, and then an ohm. So this thing is going to go from 20. into ground control to major tom um into do1 the do1 thing i can do that now i guess if i'm not soldering will this still work I think it just needs a connection, right? So there's, that that should work. I, I have faith. Um, do I need to set up these here? I feel like I need to. That's a ground. Oh, ground to ground. Nice. Oh, I like this epic music. Uh, ground to ground. Sure, that won't light fire at all. No, it should be okay, right? No. Um. This should go from, should be fed, everything, everything's okay. Everything is okay. Hump, how's it going? Good to see you. Let's, oh, there we go. So, be very loose, so you probably need to hold it exactly in place. So I need Frank over here to help me out. So put this ground in. 
This ground goes to ground. I think that's it, right? Nope. Okay. And then we need a red one, it says. Let's do that. Some people dream of success while you're going to wake up and work hard at it. Nothing is impossible. Yarpin, thank you so much for not only the emos, but for that tier one subscription. Thank you so much. First month coming into tier one. I appreciate that. Welcome to the stream. Got to get that cup of coffee. Nom, nom, nom. We brewed some coffee earlier, so I just ran out of it. So actually, I got some cold stuff left. Let's... Mm. Andre, good to see you, buddy. I saw you lurking in there. All right, so we got one more red one. So this should go from our... 3v3 to our power. Yeah, so really I should have a... I should really have the breadboard. I should really have the board set up properly. Frank would probably be yelling at me right now profusely. It's pretty funny. Let's see here. That probably needs to be a longer one. Let's put a longer one in there. Yeah, cause again, I don't think these colors matter at all, so. From my understanding at least, so. I'm way up, I feel Hold up, thank you for the follow, I appreciate that. Okay, so this is what it looks like so far. Oh, he's gonna yell at me when we podcast on, on Sunday. So we got uh, the LED in the resistor in we got the ground in and then up here we got the ground and then the, the the green ground is what i did instead of black or whatever so it should work okay so let's see i mean again it's gonna be loose i don't have the headers on so there's that so let's take a look here so it says what we're gonna need so let's go ahead and just delete all this code that we're not using anymore and I really want to just also delete all this and all this shenanigans. All right. Colors don't matter, but if you follow conventional red is positive, black is negative, your life will be better. I should have done that. Well, that's the thing is not all of the colors match from the, these other ones in here. That's the. I guess I could have done these. These would have been better, I think, to just do this. But I'll do that next time. When I when I get the headers on, that's what I'll end up doing. I think I'll go to Frank's this weekend or, when, or next weekend when he's back. I got lost. I'm an Android developer now, but .NET is my heart primarily. We're all we're a lot of .NET developers here. We do a lot of Xamarin development, and now we're doing this meta development in in uh, in .NET. So it's kind of fun. Everything I have in life is in my, my .NET. So if I do a console.write line, we'll just do a initial in it. What is that? LED equals a new LED. I like that. Then we just gonna give it our device port. So um, device dot. And yeah, we, okay, so we create a digital output port and the pin device dot pins dot, and we shoved it in the do1 so do1 there so there's my led let's do test led let's go ahead and create that method so we'll do a console all right let's just do this and we'll say uh testing LEDs. And I guess here what we have is we have yeah, LED is on. Let's just set it to true. Let's just see what happens here. So here they're they're doing while well true and they're turning it on and off for one second each. And then they're just gonna blink it. So let's just start a, a blink actually. Let's see if that works. Dot start blink. Let's run that and see if that runs. Oh, I don't have it plugged in, so can't do that. 
Alright, let's see if it blows up. Three, two, one. We're alive. That's good. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, also, is it two holes or four to indent? What do you mean, Mr. Magoo? Two or four. I have four spaces on here. So, let's start to deploy. I'm a little worried that this is gonna blow up. Oh, I see. Uh, humor, I don't, I don't get anything. So this, ha this continues to happen, I don't know why. Something with this file new, but sure, whatever. So it is running. Let's see if we get the init. Direct register access, true, init. Testing LEDs. Yeah, maybe my... So, yeah, it could be that my, it could be that I just need to solder, get these soldered on by Frank, the Frankinator. That could be it. But one would assume that I could, um, take this off of here and sort of, loop it back right it's like if I was to put this in the three by three let's try here let me do it on the other breadboard maybe that's not connected to this let's try that out so let's say I put this let's say I'm gonna try this here so Let's try this again. Let's put the big one into D20. Put this here. This is okay. Then, what color should ground be? Someone said ground should be wires or color. Red is positive. I need a solder header. But you, you don't think I can just wrap it around it? Does that, Do I have to solder it? This is not going to work out so well if that's the only way that I can do it. I couldn't just like wrap it around it for funsies, like wrap the... Because obviously anything in the breadboard is going to be okay. You know what I mean? But I guess outside of the breadboard, that is the key issue here. Black ground. Black is ground. So if I do ground, ground, okay. I don't have any solder. Why is IoT gotta be so hard? Gonna just um. A little bad connect break will lose digital signal. I see. Mate, we'll give it one more try, and then if not, then we'll just try to give up, I guess, and, and wait to get. I mean, we at least blink something on the board, so that was good. But um, do I have crocodile connectors? Oh, those little things. No. So I'm not I'm not fully prepared like Frank Frank's like oh this will give you everything that you need to get started this is what his promise was to me he's like oh you don't need anything else he's like you just get this board you'll be good to go right this was his promise to me and it's lies 
All lies. Right, deal one. Let me just kind of shove this in here. I just kind of looped it back a little bit. Again, it's probably not going to work because of what everybody's saying, and I just should be listening to all of you, but I'm not, so. I wrapped it around. Without the solder, so you really—I guess if <laughs> I don't—I don't know anything either. <sighs> but let's see. Again, probably everything's not going to work, so that's good. I guess what I could do is I could make sure that the on device LED is blinking. Let's try that too. So let's grab just the green LED. Yeah, I don't think it's going to work because of the soldering. I think you all are correct. And Frank would probably be yelling at me right now. Try to run without debugging. Yeah, but shouldn't you be able to debug or no? Should you not be able to debug? Ah, that's probably it. I just thought you could just debug it. But yeah, I think that's probably it. Maybe it doesn't say it could not. Yeah, that's probably it. Because it does continue to run, so. But that's probably it, yeah. But yeah, I guess with the headers on, then it would just work. Yeah, I see. In it. Testing LEDs. All right, so, yeah. So it's not going to work because I don't have the soldering. So maybe if Frank gets back next week, I can have him come and do it. But we do have this turning green, so that's good. I wish that it would just work. Come on. Okay, well... That's what happens when you don't have any soldering. Perfect. All right. So I guess that makes sense. Although it is strange that um, that I wish that I could do. Let me try this too while I'm on here. Let's try to do. Let's try to do this thing again. But now that we we kind of have it, we kind of have it working more consistent somehow. Let's try this. Let's try this again. Right, so do this. And let's see. Pulse. Let's try this again. At least you can do something on it, I guess. It's good. Man, I really wish that it would work. Yeah, Frank is probably like, oh, you're stupid, James. I know. I just figured that any connection would just turn it on and make it work, no? access in it oh the pulsing is now working all right i don't know what we did before now it's actually it seems to be pulsing so that's cool it, it does seem to get stuck though at some point maybe the stop or whatever is like doing something else. All right, let us, let's try one more thing. It is actually like doing stuff, so let's turn this off. All right, let's get our ohm out of there now that I've messed up everything. We at least have the code that 
can run whenever I fix it and get soldering on there. Let's shove this in here. It's just my fault for not having soldering stuff. And I'm not knowing anything about IoT and that I have to have soldering stuff. So that's what you gotta do. Yeah, I wish the headers were already on there. That would have made it really turn key. That's gonna be my one feedback. Like, hey, just solder them on, right? Just put them on there. Because if that's literally the first step that you need to do for a novice like myself, it makes it very not approachable. Just the breadboard's good. Everything else is there. It's like, I love these other plugs, but, you know. So let's plug this in one more time. That's what stopped me the soldering. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing is you only need, I guess, this one thing to be soldered. So it's like solder it, you know, solder it up. Let's see. Oh, OK, so we got some pulsing action. It's funny that the start pulse doesn't actually it seems to pulse a little bit. So it's... I'm trying. I'm trying. Frank should have just told me I needed to solder it. I would have came over before I left. Ugh. No, yeah. All right, let me try one more thing. Let's do, um, that's only half a second. So let's do, let's do uh, three seconds. Let's not stop it, but let's just like pulse a new color. So I don't, I don't know why I need to pulse multiple colors. But it's funny cause like this, this LED is on. So, oh, so what I should do here is I should do like um, thread dot, sleep four seconds then do it cancel I'm, I'm just, let me just cancel this as it deploys great yo god it's so mad thanks bill i appreciate it try, i mean i don't know i'm trying i'm trying to understand things i feel so stupid sometimes i feel like i'm behind on everything you know All right, let's see. Let's see if I can deploy this again. And maybe play around with some colors just a little bit. Let me put these all in here. I love the, I love these. These are really nice. Those are super duper nice. I like that. Yeah, these are cool. That's probably my favorite part. It's just they're like very nice. Is that still shut? Like that. This thing doesn't go in it though. It's just separate for some reason. Like this is an LCD. Let's try this one more time. You gotta try new things every once in a while, I guess. Even if you fail. And that's okay. It's okay to fail. Be cool. I don't know what. I don't know how to do like that. It's okay to fail. Nice, what did you have to do? To fix the Hyper-V. All right, so we debug. So whenever I debug, that happens. Um, it still should give me output here. And what we should see is hopefully, turn it off, turn it on again. Oh, that's what I should have done. So this should have been green LED.state equals false. And then 
So let's see. So we have green for four seconds. And then, see, it's like something with this red. It doesn't like this red. Oh, that was green. Let's try to let's try to run it again without debugging. Get some output here, because it's supposed to do this pulsing. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. But I wonder if we don't pulse. Maybe the pulse is setting a problem. Let's see if we can change it to do something else, like set color or something. Because it seems like accessing the LED direct, uh, or the green LED, the digital output directly is fine, but this one seems to be having issues. Okay, it's still giving me port is closed. Let's try one more time here. What I really wanted to do on the holiday hack was set up the th temperature reader and then put that in my coffee roasting machine and do like an output of it. That'd be kind of cool. I don't think I'll ever get to that. Basically, I want to flash some, I want to get the breadboard set up correctly with Frank and then go from there. Cause I think that'll help me go a long way. It seems like you can do a lot after that. Okay, so output, I should be getting output here. There we go, dot, dot, a little heartbeat. So this should turn on the green LED. This LED start blink probably didn't do anything. I don't see it pulsing. It was blue. Okay, so it did change to blue. But it's not really pulsing. Oh, there it goes. So it is actually pulsing a little bit. I don't really feel like it's pulsing, but... Oh, it is. Okay. Why does that work now? I didn't do the stop maybe. I think the stop maybe was causing issues. Right, let's turn off this. Let's do RGB start blink. Let's do color and then we'll do a thread.sleep 500, 5000. So let's see if we do pulse blink pulse blink in that color. Let's see what that does. Because it, it just pulses, it pulses very slow. But we should try to write some really cool Twitch software to call into it. That'd be kind of nice. Maybe this thing's a little being sent faster than it could. Ch oh, and then it didn't have a sleep. Hmm. That could be AZA50. That's a, that could be. Hmm. Port closed. Let's see here. Yeah, notifications are the worst. Uh, always hard to test too. I'm glad you got it working though. Congratulations, that's great. Out before the new year. All right, so let's see here. If we can get this blinking, I'll be happy and I'll call it a day. Let's see. Because we'll at least written some code that's not that. We can see what the difference between blink and pulse is. Let's see. In it. LED green. Okay. For four seconds off. For four seconds, pulse red. For five seconds. Link at some point. Wonder if I have to put a stop there. Hmm. Yeah, it seems to be just. Let's do progress.
I don't know. That's a good question. That's a good question. So here I would say like uh, RGB dot stop. That's what I had before. So I could say stopping. strange let's try this so uh, pulse is definitely supposed to be fading in and out in and out slowly I, and I assume blink is hard on off but yeah and I don't know if you have to stop before doing the next thing though either so Yeah, and this should blink every 200 milliseconds. Like, but up, 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 but up. Let's see. Let's see here. Should. Nope. Let's try one more time. So I know, I mean, like this seems to work. Green state on, green state off. So watch, it'll do that. So the third file takes at least 10 minutes. Well, that's not good. Maybe your USB cable and port are messed up. Yeah, mine's super quick. That seems slow. So there's my green on, green off. All right now it should be pulsing red. Now it pulses. You can see it kind of gets a little bit brighter there. I feel like the... See, it, it, it like stops. So let's do one thing instead of doing, let's just do, um, let's just do the pull or the blink instead. See if that does it. That's what I find weird is like sometimes it does it, sometimes it doesn't do it. So it could be a bug with this RGB item because then like this console right line didn't even do anything it's sort of like this the start pulse just sort of stopped just strange so we shall see does this board only support <laughs> yes I believe I believe you can uh, speed it up I believe that you can um, you can you can double it. You can get a, a multiplier, a flux capa cap capacitor multiplier. You have to unplug it a lot. That's what I'm seeing. That's for sure. Definitely have to unplug it a lot. It is a very tiny board. Smells okay. <laughs> Let's see. Checking device. I think what it does, it does a diff too. See here, it already like found. It only like rewrites the app.exe. Okay. Green. On. Off. Mm, 
didn't blink anything. Oh. Oh, there it goes. Blinking. It's blinking. Well, the blink command takes a little bit of time. Oh, so we stop. Now we blink. Okay, so the pulse command, I think, has problems. Okay, people. I think the pulse one is, like, blocking us. So then we stop for five seconds, and then we blink. Blue, and now we're blinking colors. Wow, 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 wow. So the blink works, the pulse does not. So the pulse obviously has some issues, whereas this puppy here is now blinking all day over and over and over again. So they definitely have a bug, which is a bad first run experience. Because now the blinkin is a blinkin. And we've blinked some LEDs officially. And I'm feeling a lot better because now I don't feel crazy. We figured out that you can't really debug it, and that's okay. But we did figure out that you can blink it, and that's okay too. And then we get this output over here, which is also really cool. So I'm feeling pretty good about it. I'm feeling pretty good. Nothing is impossible! I should also read that I crushed it from 2013 to present. And I know I didn't really do much besides try to figure out what this thing can do. We figured out that I really need to solder this puppy. We figured out that we can blink the color. And the pulse obviously has an issue. So that's something else. But this obviously seems to be working. And that's what they should definitely put in there. Because that's what we saw is the they weren't using the pulse in other ones. They were turning things on and off manually. Where this is really cool because you have all, R th all, all three um, RGB values that you can play around with, which is really cool. So I do like that a lot. Yeah, I like, oh, I could do a restart uh, CLI command. That's a good idea, too, in the debug. So we're doing it. We're blinking it. It's happening. We're getting output, too, which I really like. Okay, cool. All right. Beautiful. All right. Well, thanks, everyone, for hanging out on this journey of, of trying to do stuff. Frank, oh yeah, I really need Frank to like come here side by side and then do stuff with me together. Maybe that's what we'll do when he gets back. Invite the Frank over and set him up to stream with me at the same time. That'd be kind of fun. Let's see what this thing fixes. What I what I like probably the most out of this kit is really this box. You know what I mean? You went to almost play play with the board yourself. Almost. So I needed some soldering stuff. Frank will hook it up. This box is very, very nice, though. I like it. I don't like that this is separate. You know what I mean? Thanks, Lashlon, for the cheers and the donations. Appreciate that. So it's like I got to keep it in this other bag. This other box. I'm way up. I feel blessed. So I got the other bus. Cold wire. Thank you for the follow. Late minute, last minute, late, late, la, 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 la. late minute. I like that there's a box though. So I got a box in a box, and that's cool. So there's that. A box in a box. Well, thanks everyone for hanging out with me again, Lashlon. Thank you for the bits. I appreciate that. You're very close to getting on that monthly stream leaderboard. Some people dream of success. While you're gonna wake up and work hard at it, nothing is impossible. Brian from Bellevue, thank you so much for the tier one subscription. You get sweet, sweet emotes, no ads for the month, which is super rad. And you support a great charity, the Malala Fund, uh, helping women um, all over the world, um, better education, um, and help reach uh, their goals. Uh, they do a lot of educational outreach programs all around the globe, which is really cool, um, and all different um, uh, fields. So not just STEM, but just like, you know, um, um, different programs, which is really cool. I have links to that in the bottom down there. What's cool about it is that every time, um, every time we uh, get a donation or bits, uh, we donate um, any profit from the stream uh, to a charity. Every few months, we change. <laughs> there you go, Lash line up on the leaderboard, 105 ding. Uh, and then also, um, um, I work for Microsoft, so we I donate through that portal, and because it's money that I donate, right, and then I it gets matched, which is really cool. So appreciate that, and also right now everyone's giving up bits and, and uh, subs. You get these cool, yeah, different uh, emotes, which I think are rad. What are we doing next week? That's a great question. So I happen to be off on Monday and Tuesday. On Monday I got to go to the dentist in the afternoon, but Monday, um, 
It depends. Well, if Frank is going to help me solder this board, then that'd be kind of cool. Uh, but I have a few other projects that I want to work on. So my plan is to stream on Monday and Tuesday and Friday. Um, I'm not sure what time yet. Probably Monday morning and Tuesday morning. I'll do some tweets out when I know my timing on that uh, after I work out in the morning. And I think I'm going to be working on a brand new app, which is another holiday hack, uh, which is to for my lower back pain. So I want to create this uh, application that shows people how to do stretches. Uh, so I'm going to maybe build that from scratch with Xamarin Forms out of some new controls, which would be cool. So we'll get that set up, I think, next week. Um, that's one thing I want to do because I want to take some time off from the Handsome Informs. I've been doing so much on it. Um, but maybe, but probably next Friday, I'll be back to the Blazor uh, back end for my Handsome Informs application. So Monday, Tuesday, holiday hacking. Friday, Handsome Informing. Handsome Informing? Forming the Hanselmans? Stuff like that. Um, which would be cool. And then on my uh, base, maybe afterwards, I'll probably head over to the Nintendo Dispatch. Uh, Twitch handle, which is just Nintendo Dispatch, and I will be, um, um, I will be doing some Dauntless, I think, some more Dauntless. I just got into that recently, and I've been playing that quite a bit, which is cool. So it's been a good one. Let me see if anyone is uh, streaming. I don't know. It's, it's a Friday, and it's a holiday. Which is a question. Um, live coders not dead. Let's see what's going on over here. Do, do, do. One year anniversary stream from Robert Tables. Let's start watching. It says it's a. Uh... Yeah, maybe we'll head over to the Robert Tables. How long has Robert Tables been streaming for? Mm, three hours. Okay, he's been going for a while. Let's see here. I'm going to wait for this ad to be over. Let's see. He's working on what's T oh he's working on some TensorFlow stuff. That looks interesting. Oh, let's head over to the Robert Tables. We'll play an outro here. Oh wait, did he just log off? No, he didn't. Okay. I don't think so. Alright. Let's head over to the Robert Tables, uh, part of the live coders. One year anniversary stream. Congratulations, that's awesome. Robert Tables, we'll give him a friendly stream, send some people his way. Thanks everyone. Hope you have a great holiday. Um, hopefully you hang out with me before the New Year's. If not, happy New Year's, everybody. We'll be back Monday, Tuesday. Um, morning streams, 10 a.m. Pacific, maybe 9 a.m. Pacific. I'll let you know on the Twitters. Follow me down below, uh, at James Montemagno. And then next Friday, 2 o'clock, as always, on my Fridays, we're going to play a little outro track, as we always do per tradition. Then we'll head over to the Robert Tables. Thanks, everyone, for hanging out. Thanks for the subs. Thanks for the bits. Thanks for the cheers and the follows. I love all of you so much. Have a good one. Bye.